got a headache. Everyone that we pass is telling us that it's worth it. That it's a big walk, it's really steep, but worth the climb. I've just realized why they have benches every 20 meters or so. Babe, are you okay? Not really. What's going on? We are Tiny Travel to a family of four adults and two children, including Katie, Luke, Chiago, Amy Lee, Sophie and Millie. After traveling extensively through Southeast Asia, we found ourselves back in Australia in early 2020. If you already watched last week's episode, you will know that we picked up Lulu, which is our Let's Go motorhome, and we hit the sand dunes of Port Stephens where the girls met their first camel daisy. Did you hear him? You did. He burped. What sound did he make? He oh. made a burp sound. A burp sound. Chiago caught his first pippy. Hey. And we managed to sandboard without stacking too many times. I think so, yeah. I think the guy called it Tomary. So we've just sent Chiago. I don't know if you can see that. We found ourselves a ranger and we're going to send Chiago to ask. But he's a little bit, you know, he doesn't like interacting with people. So, so guys, we have finally found where we are going. It's called the Tomary Summit Lookout. We found a car park. We actually, because we're so big, we decided that we'd park at the boat ramp, which is a great place to park because check out this view that's directly opposite. So we're taking a hike all the way to the top of this here hill. It's kind of behind the trees at the moment, but you can see we're taking a, a hike all the way to the top up there. I've left Amy Lee across the road in the camper. She's preparing us some food, so let's head on over there and see what she has. Lunch! Lunch of... What have you made us? Um, well, I actually used the leftover chicken from dinner last night and we have ham and cheese and all of the fillings and we're just gonna have a sandwich. We're just gonna have a light lunch so we can actually make it up the hill. And then when we come back down, we're gonna do fajitas for dinner. Yum. Hey guys, we are just about to do the Tomari National Park Walk, which is a two kilometer return track, but it's super steep. So it's gonna take us about half an hour to get up the top and half an hour to get back. This was not part of our plans for today. We were actually just gonna head back to the caravan park and do some work, but we got recommended this, as we said earlier, and since being here, we've had so many people say it's worth the walk. 
So we're gonna give it a go and hopefully the view at the top is as good as everyone says it is. So that's where we're walking to. Right at the tippy you can top. see. You can yeah. see people just walking at the top. And one person that we just passed warned us that it was really steep and maybe the girls won't make it, but they'll they, make it. They do loads of walking and they're already halfway up there, so <laughs> let's do it. Katie's got all the camera equipment. <laughs> Imagine this one. My calves are all tight from climbing from up the From the sand. Sand juice. <laughs> and then we've decided. Like, ah, ah. Let me see if I can show you guys how steep this is. Hold on. Can you see? How steep it is? What did you find, Luke? The entrance to the summit track. I just thought it's a great way to start. It's almost a vertical set of stairs. I'm not sure you guys can really see that, but. Yeah, it's a ladder. Let me see. This is the ladder. I still all call it the stairs. way up. Yeah. <laughs> we go, we go. Not easy. Time out. <laughs> Wait, more there. I've just realised why they have benches every 20 metres or so. Everyone that we pass is telling us that it's worth it. That it's a big walk. It's really steep, but worth the climb. Be worth it. So just down there is Shoal Bay. We're staying in the caravan park down there. Like obviously we pull our camper up there and attach to the water and the power. Um, but just here i flew out the drone over it yesterday and you can even make it out here i'm sure you guys can't unfortunately but that water is some of the clearest water i've ever seen from 50 meters up you can already you can still see the bottom it's absolutely insane Just so everyone knows, um, I've personally abseiled in New Zealand and this freaks me out. I mean, abseiling did too, but I just, I, I don't like heights, but this whole see through the stairs you're using thing, it's just insane. What did you find? This isn't even the top, guys. That's beautiful. What's wrong with them? Tired. No, we're nearly there, I think. Thought 
I'd show you this while we we're up here. I'm not sure how well you see it. I'll try to put in some extra footage for you to see, but this is one side, and then you've got the landy bit down here, and then the other side is ocean as well. So we're out on a little peak that is fully surrounded, almost 360 degrees by the ocean. It's really cold. the top. Almost got it. I made it to the top! <laughs> I have no idea how many stairs that was but I'll find out and I'll put it below. But this view guys, check it out. Okay? Not really. What's going on? Oh, I just got funny feelings. Because it's see through? Yeah, it's <laughs> intensely see through. I'm pretty impressed you got Look at this view, guys. feel about going down, babe? Great. Great? Yeah, I'm going to get ice cream. Oh, going to get ice cream. Hey guys, we have made it back down to Lulu and we're so happy that she's here because we are absolutely wrecked today. Thanks to Port Stevens Four Wheel Drive Tours for an amazing day. We had an absolute blast on the sand dunes and for recommending for us to do the hike that we just completed. We're completely wrecked. We're gonna go back to the caravan park, maybe get a sneaky ice cream on the way home because we think we deserve it. But next time with us on our Let's Go series, we're heading off to Caves Beach. So remember to hit that thumbs up, subscribe below, and comment with anything that you think that we should do while we're in Caves Beach. But until then, 